Yeah, so being homeschooled, this is what our kids thought sledding was. We're at the Monahan Sand Hill State Park in Texas, which is very cool. Yeah, extremely cool. We got there I'm really yesterday. pleased with how cool it is. Very cool. Like you just park in the campground and the sand dunes are right there. So we got there and we were running all over the sand dunes and like they're like mass and then the sunset was gorgeous and it is like so we rented we have, Yeah, we have big plans today mm -hmm. to go sledding on the sand dunes. Yes. Which, they went up and got the little discs that they ran out. But I think it's like an art. We were watching some other people try and it- You need to buy some grease and just- So we will videotape it all for you so you can see our progression. I'm gonna be a pro and, at it. And, yeah. It didn't look like standing on the disc going down worked too well. I think it put too much concentration and of force in one so, spot. So we're gonna have to practice. So we're gonna get out there know. and do that. But unfortunately, we had to first do laundry. We had to take care of some business. Laundry. laundry and school yeah. and a little bit of shopping. Are you making sure those are really clean? With waxing them so they walk better. Because you're going to go really fast. You're going to go really fast. I don't think it's going to be. Maybe. <laughs> if I'm, I'm thinking it's just going to get stuck in the sand because the sand's so soft. <laughs> the waxing of these sleds is apparently a long process. I'm done. You, you oh, have to go in the direction. Oh, relax. You have to go in the direction of the grooves so you get the maximum something scientific term for the something. I couldn't think of anything. That's all I got. Mr. Smooth's uh, tips. It should be easy it. for them to go up there. We got their sleds and everything. But for me, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So We've got his leash. We've got the rope. We're going to attach that to the front. Someone in the back, and we're going to try to get him. Someone's going to pull. Someone's going to push. Yeah. And hopefully, I don't sink too far down into we the sand. We don't have to get him too far so he can see the majority of the sand. Yeah, at least I can see them sliding down. We're not going to go all the way to the top with my wheelchair. It's just too steep. But go somewhere I can see them having fun, and maybe I can, like, crash roll down the hill or something <laughs> got his leash hooked up <laughs> this is what you do to tire out your kids Hey Dad, do you have 911 speed dial? Stop, stop. 911. <laughs> what am I doing? 911! <laughs> <laughs> Can you get up? So the kids are strong. I'm gonna give them credit that they can pull Brian up that. Pull and push up that one. Yeah. That'll give them a good view. Good view of the entire dunes Because it's so cool here, but 
you know, sand hills are notoriously not wheelchair friendly. Mm -mm. Nope. Soft sand is really rough to get through <laughs> even when it's flat, much less a 30 degree angle or whatever. So this is really cool here. And maybe if you have like an off-road power chair, you might be able to get oh, yeah, around. Yeah, one of those tracks, like it yeah. looks like a tank. Yeah. yeah, those things could get around in here good. Otherwise, you got to have some teenagers um, and put them to work. They're a lot cheaper for teenagers because all you got to do no, is feed them. That's not really cheaper. Those tank chairs are like $25,000. Okay, how much have we put into Jared in food yeah, in 17 true. years? So yeah, the tank chair might be, be cheaper. Wash. Everything here, you think like you're on a postcard or like some green screen. And we're just glad that they let you go on the sand dunes because most places, you know, like along the East Coast and stuff where they have erosion problems, you're not allowed on the dunes because it just, you know, knocks it them down. It, it, it messes with the plant life and all that. But here, they they must build back up more quickly than they get yeah. eroded down. Due to so. the winds. Yeah. So yeah, you can even bring the dogs up here. We gotta show a video of the dogs. Oh my gosh. What happened to your ball, Carmel? She just likes putting it in. <laughs> Here, put it in this one. Come on, come put it. Come on, come on. No, let it go, let it go. <laughs> Carmel and Pepper love the snow and they love the sand. So Pepper, unfortunately, um, forgets which one she can eat. So <laughs> she runs and runs and plays and then she, she runs and dives in and takes a mouthful of, in this case, sand. Um, which is the non-edible of the two. So yeah, this is just amazing out here. I want to go hiking with the doggies then before we eat dinner. I don't know what, the kids are trying to go uphill now <laughs> in the sleds, being our smart children. That's not the way you go sledding. Yeah, so being homeschooled, this is what our kids thought sledding was. That's the wrong way, guys. You, you go down the hill with the sled. See, Alex? Like that? Yeah. I win. What do I win? What do I win? Yeah. Oh, crap. down my sled. All right. Come on, Jason. That would be the next hill. Yeah, we're going up higher, steeper, better, bigger. All right, bigger. let's name it. Because it up was. There, Mount Agony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the same right. peak over there. Yeah. No, it has southern M. Mount Macaroni! Named after McKenna. Girl power. <laughs> New favorite phrase here is, this is awesome. They found another sledding hill. McKenna's tired. Who wanted this? Yeah, water. And that, that my friends, is why you always find a way to get around the obstacles because I got to set up, sit up there for an the, hour and a half and just watch the sled and watch them sled i was way at the top peak and i could see all the dunes around and it was fun and now i feel like i had a big accomplishment because i didn't sit down here i found a way to get up there Ryan is not coming this time. And, you want and we got candles to wax the sleds because it really makes a huge difference. We were surprised when we waxed them and then we went like 60% faster. Okay guys, this is awesome. We're gonna head over, over the ridge. Okay. There's some even bigger sand hills. We're gonna find the biggest one we can today.
This seems like the tallest point that one's pretty in tall. the desert. It is huge. There it is. The very top. Look how much we can see. Okay guys, we're gonna do a competition to spice things up. We found the fastest hill. We've tried out a couple. It's gonna be, there they are. It's gonna be who can go the furthest. There's the track. You get one try, you get three pushes. Three pushes from the top. Whoever gets the furthest wins. Three pushes. <laughs> One, two, three. And she goes right here. All right, stand right there with your sled. One, two, three, four. That was eight pushes and four backwards. One, two, three. This is mommy's. I'm You're not even, you're still on the slope. Kenna has this thing mastered. She, she has been better for two days now than anybody at sledding. Woo. You girls tired? Yeah. Between today and yesterday, we've climbed like every single sand hill. Many times. Yes, many times.